these at Premier One Supplies. Ideally, you want to keep these three feet away. So the distance between here and here should be about three feet. And it should be about right because I have these T posts I put in and I measured them exactly. So when I run the lines, they lay approximately where they should. So it's been working out good so far. Now I got the middle, you'll see these are slacked. So I just split it in half, do one side then the other. I could measure. That nah. looks <laughs> about right. I think you're not supposed to have these any farther than 33 feet apart. So seeing as how we have 100 feet long, or I guess I have four sections, so they're approximately 25 feet apart. or 25 feet of unbraced length, so to say. That's about right. Does it look about right? Yeah. It's getting there. Okay. Huh. I didn't exactly get in the middle, but oh well. How's that look? Yeah, that's good. It's needed. one we need here because it's 50 foot wide so it's 25 feet apart on both sides did I get it right or no? no I had it right what the heck? here I'm gonna hold it the proper way that's low So this is our energizer here. And this is powerful enough to, I believe, do 10 of these long fences. But we have two. So I like to put it out of the way. And you need to face it to the sun, obviously. It's solar. So this is a good spot. All right. So we have the negative side. So the negative, in this case, is the ground, the actual ground. Depending on what version you have of this energizer, you may have a stake, you may have a something that looks a little different. Okay. And you made that look easy. That thing is really hard to uh, push in the ground. I couldn't do it one day. Jeff was gone. I was like hammering it. <laughs> Of course it's tangled. Pulled it out of the garage after the winter. There's actually quite a few here and it's because we need a way to connect the poultry netting fence to our strands here. So it goes right here like so. And like I said we need a way to connect all this stuff together. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Yeah, that's good. You can grab it anywhere on the fence. So, as we go from here to here, and we have to connect these two together. See, it's really weighing it down. So now they're all connected. Let's see if there's anything I can do to tighten this up. Yeah, I just might have to undo this and give it a give it a tight and look at that. See the slack in the entire system. Yeah, the deer just gonna jump right over this. Yeah. On this right. side. Well, we simply do that by just a special device here. It's hard to see. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like this pigtail looking thing. That is cool. So I just simply tighten it up. Oh. Trying to get weave this thing back through it can be a little tricky especially if there's tension on it you could remove it do it that way it would make more sense but just want to hold this like this so i don't have to put pressure on it 
You have to come back here because I need to okay. weave there. Go. And just like that. Nice and tight. What about this part? Is that okay to dangle? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Daisy, you gotta stop digging holes. Hey, don't let her dig holes like this, okay? If you see her, say no. Daisy, it's not good. Don't do that. Mom, I got a question. Yep. Is this a good washroom to eat? No, you can't eat that, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Nice and tight. Much better. All right. Now we have everything connected. So we have the energizer connected to the fence. We have the negative connected to the ground. We have the fence connected to the upper strand. We have the upper strand connected to the lower strand. So now we have the moment of truth. We have our tester. So hopefully our box has a charge on it and we should start hearing it tick now. Okay. Finley, the fence is on, okay? 8,000. Yeah, that's what, that's what we want. At least 8,000 volts there. At least 8,000 volts there. And at least 8,000 volts there. And that's it. So, uh, now the fun begins. Ready to barbecue some frogs or whatever else is uh, unfortunate enough to cross it. <laughs>